Hi everybody. Like I promised, I would be back so that we can make how to make these middles. Um, I, I guess somebody's struggling and I don't like to see anyone struggle. So I want to teach you guys, you know, the proper way how to make this. I may have to move my trap light a little bit because you guys look a little far. Um, however, there are several different ways, you know, of making metals. Um, like this morning I tried this and it was good and everything, but my ribbon is flat and I took the wires out. And as you can see, you know, I got some bumps and everything. I'm not very happy with it, um, but it did give me an idea. So what I did was, it was important to me that um, I had that on that wreath, you know? So I took one of these discs and I put some felt on it. And then I took my ribbon and then I put my ribbon across it, okay? Um, and this is my result. And this, this here is a fabric mesh wreath, all right? Um, I really love the way it turned out. So here's what I did, okay? There's my middle, all right? But just to add a little feature to it and make it a little bit more Christmassy, um, God, that glue, boy, I'll tell you. What I did was I attached a longer thread here, a longer ribbon. And what I did is I poked a hole through my ribbon, okay, and made a hook. Okay, so now it's going to hold, it's going to hang up by the hook and the ribbon. So the ribbon will not always be in the front. It'll never be over the raw, the, the nail or whatever it is they're hooking it on. So this kind of makes this, you know, I, I had to make something uh, draw it to the middle, okay? Because it is a little bit of a different red. The felt is a little bit different. But this is my result. And I did completely um, under different way this time as I put my green on first before actually putting my red on. I really love this wreath, my gosh. I mean, Christmassy or what? So that's that. I wanted to show you that middle, okay? So middles are what you make them, okay? What your wreath is about. So, you know, I really struggled with this one because I didn't know what to put in there. Um, black and and red and you know that black check and i struggled with it because you know i really wanted to pop out but as a christmas wreath not uh, a fall wreath or a winter wreath or you know so i even tried making one of these and this is like with that you know that jute mesh you know come on everybody knows about this stuff well you can do it with that okay and this is how i made this one and look how nice that looks I do have a wreath that I made, a fabric mesh wreath, but I did it on a flat one. So then this one here is, you know, a dome one, but I will use it in one of my wreaths. Okay, so there's that. And I think, believe that the person who contacted me is looking to make this one, okay? This is so easy, you guys, like it's a, it's a piece of cake, okay? There's just one difference. And with the jute and the cord, all right now i'm gonna bring my camera forward and closer and hey look at my little hat that i'm making isn't that cute <laughs> so this is gonna be on one of my characters so cute right ah uh, yes i'm very crafty <laughs> i'm gonna bring you guys forward a little bit and i'm hoping not to give you too much camera shake okay let's just kind of move out this way all right, I think that's good. Okay, so when I do the jute one, all right, is I find the end and I squish down and I, you know how this stuff just flattens out? You just have to turn it. So I squish it down and I put a piece of tape there, okay? And in there is where I start in the middle, okay, of my foam. So I, once that piece of tape is on there and I stick it in there with some glue, then, you know, it'll pop back out. Like it'll, you know how that jute stuff just squishes down and then pops back up? Well, then I'll start turning it once I've got it glued in there properly, 
Okay, so that's just a little tip that I put a little bit of tape on the end of it. Here, I'll do it for you so you can see. Where is it? So I just take this tape, a little roll of scotch tape, okay, and I make sure it's flat. I just make sure that it's flat and it's not going to go anywhere. All right. So that's what I do. And then I only need about half of this so that I'm not cut it off. And that's what's gonna go in the tip of my of my foam, okay? This is my starting point, all right? So I do the same thing with the regular cord, all right? So I've already got my tape on there, all right, you see? All right, so um, I'm not liking this tape. And the reason I'll tell you why I'm doing this, um, as you're using your cord and if you open it up, you're gonna lose your link, okay? So you wanna keep it uh, pretty much going the same way all the time. So this is why I'm keeping this tape in there so that it doesn't fray and I'm not gonna lose that twist. That twist is so important, okay? That's what I wanna see in my, in my center is that twist. So I've got a little bit too much length here. I'm just gonna cut that off, all right? And what, this is how we start. This is very self-explanatory, it's very easy. So on your glue gun, this tip here is very hot. Be very careful, it's extremely hot. Well, if it's melting this glue, you all know, right? But on the end of your uh, little ball here, you got this little center piece, like it's like a little round thing. So that's where I start. I take my little tip and I put it right in that little circle and I melt. I just let it sit there and let it melt the foam until I get it to where I want. I go, oh yeah, that's good. Throw some glue in there. Okay. Throw my little tip there. Just put that in there and, and push it down as far as I can keeping my rope, you know, twisted so that I don't lose it. Just keep it there until it's dry. This takes a little bit of time and some patience, but the overall result is, you know, you all see it, you all wanna see, you all wanna learn it, so. So then I look at it and I go, well, okay, this is another stuff that you, I found this at the dollar store. This would look really nice as a centerpiece, but it would take you a long time. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> okay. So then I look and I see, okay, which way my cord is actually going and which way I could actually start. Okay, so now it's stuck in there and it's just a matter of turning it around and seeing which way it needs to go. And I'm seeing that it needs to go this way. So I'm gonna put some glue right here around that little middle and I'm just going to wrap it around that centerpiece and make a nice even button I guess you can say like that okay very simple once that's set now I can start working on it. Now, so all you do is you go around with your glue gun and you just keep rolling that cord around it. It's that simple. Make sure that your cord doesn't come, like your, your um, ridges, you know, your, your cord is not gonna come apart, but if you're gentle with it, it should be fine. And if you like as well, you can paint your, um, if you don't think that you're gonna get it even, you can always paint this, but you know, really and truly, um, the cord itself, you don't need it. You don't need to paint it. The, the cord is thick enough, okay? Uh, I think this was a 10 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Now, the white cord that I use, okay, is not the same as this. I actually got, a big, um, a bulk um, 
order of it from the hardware store. I just went and got it at the hardware store. They sell it for boats and stuff. So I just went and got it there. And it's the same thing, the same millimeter. Is It was a little bit more expensive, mind you, but not much more where I have to transfer cost onto my wreath for, for a center. I mean, really, let's, let's get real here, right? So there we go. I just keep going around and making sure that there's no gaps, right? That's it. It's that simple, folks. So I hope this is informative for you because I, I hate that anyone's struggling. Like, I know what it's like. And there was this one particular person who just didn't understand it. She, she said she tried, but she just didn't understand it. So that's, I guess, in my last video, I didn't do the, the centerpiece. I didn't do the whole thing. I explained it, but I didn't actually do it. So that's maybe her confusion, I don't know. But uh, look how nice this is looking, right? Um, yeah, I'll finish it. So, um, I don't know about you guys in the States. I've seen a lot of people who are going to craft fairs and here in Canada, where I'm at, I'm looking for fairs and you're putting restrictions on stuff you know where you have to be vaccinated to go to this events and people are just not happy so i may have a craft show in november this is why i'm doing christmas stuff right now i might have one but it's, there's no guarantee what a way to live there's no guarantee for anything. It's crazy. You know, you know, if it's just a simple vaccine, come on people, you know, for us to get back to our world, I think everybody should just do it and just be quiet about it. And, you know, enough. We know we've been shut in for too long. And this is just, I think everybody's going crazy. And before something nuts happens, I think everybody should just relax, go get their darn vaccine, and uh, be a good, you know, be a good citizen and move on. Let's get this done. Let's get the world back. That's really true, man. Like, oh, I, I'm just so sick to death not being able to see my family or not being able to go anywhere. I can't go to the States to go get my materials. I, it's just, driving me around the bend and I'm not alone I know I'm not I know I'm not so I'm kind of creating a little mess here I got glue everywhere but that's okay you know what what I do is I take my little pliers here and I go back and I just pick it all out <laughs> but be careful this cord because this cord really um uh, it's a little uh touchy and it's got ah hot glue on it uh it could be a little touchy some places you know with the hot glue <laughs> tootie makes her own trouble <laughs> I glue. oh gosh <sighs> okay so I'm going to stop this video. I, this is like 13 minutes. It's pretty good. I, I mean, I've done this before. And I think it's the center that maybe she may have been confused on. So you just keep going around until you get to the end. Okay. And when you get to the end, you just tuck it under. You glue it down. And then you put your, you know, your wire across. And then your two clips in there. And then your felt. And then, you know, away you go with it. So same with this one. Here's what I did. I flattened it. I did a piece of tape on it and I flattened it and I put a piece of felt on it so that now it's nice and flat to be able to go into my wreath. So uh, with that being said, I'm gonna sit here and finish this and bring my camera up. Okay, now I gotta straighten myself out. <laughs> so, this wreath turned out to be quite nice. I mean, I really like it. I like the way how it flows, these two, you know. 
this really turned out, you know, the way that I wanted it to. So, and then I did the, uh, what do they call the Star Trek pedal in the middle. And I just think that it just made everything striking. So, um, on that note, um, I can't remember what her name was, but, um, on that note, I hope this was informative for you and you were able to understand what it was that, you know, how to do this. Um, again, if you feel you need to drop me another note, go ahead. I'd be more than happy to help you. So um, with that being said, folks, uh, please subscribe to my video, to my channel, so that you'll be subscribed on my next one. Um, I am working on this little hat, okay? Um, I started to sew it, so um, essentially this is, you know, kind of like what it's going to look like, you know. My little hat, and then it'll be on there, and that'll be my little hat. <laughs> I just love it. I think it's cute. So, um, it's going to be part of my next wreath, and um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, please subscribe to my channel so that, you know, you can follow me with this and all my Christmas stuff this year. Uh, because I'll be making Christmas balls, I'll be making these little characters, and all of that. You know, I think I did okay here today. So, um, on that note, I would like to, you know, wish everybody a wonderful day. And God bless. And hopefully this button's going to work today. Nope. <laughs>